<laughs> All right, guys. Um, it probably goes without saying, but when I when I pull up to a shoot in an outfit like this, I don't even know why anyone else shows up. To be honest with you, like it's it's a wrap before it even starts. I'm blow everyone out the water. It's not gonna be close. Think I'm here to lose, baby? Heck no. What are we doing? Morning, boys. Uh, we're about to school you on U.S. history. <laughs> You know that in, on March 15th, 1983, there was a man named John Smith born? I just made that up, but it's probably true. Go fact check that. I guarantee there's at least one guy named John oh, for Smith. Sure. Maybe, maybe even something more outrageous, like packs of Texan Smith or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's not. What are we at? 30 yards? I don't know. It was just, yeah, it's about 30. Maybe a little less. Oh, that's probably top of the 10, buddy. Look at this. Get this. Oh, oh, who is this? Oh. Who does he think he is? Does he have a key to this place? I don't know. Hey, check. So check this out, guys. Here, meet me down there, but I'm going to I'm gonna drive down 163 and do a UE and come up, the, come come up, up in the, the gate. Yeah. The yeah, it's like, dude, do you have a key or something? I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Hey, who cut your hair, man? Don't. Hey, get the, don't miss this 10 ring right here. Don't miss this 10 ring. Oh, that's an axe. I think it's too high. I flinched. I flinched. Um, kind of like the uh, the cowboys in that one war that one time when something happened, they all flinched and it didn't go well. That's kind of like what that was Wasn't like. Wasn't that Custer? It Was might have been. Oh, don't even get me started on Custer. <laughs> Oh dear God! <laughs> We're doing a U.S. history video. What's up, dude? Here we go, the man, the myth, the legend, Travis. He almost fell. So, quick little factoid: in Southern California, we have a lot of uh, history with the missions and stuff like that. And uh, turns out, the Mexican or the missions weren't Mexican; they were Spanish, because Mexico didn't even exist as a country yet. by Lindbergh Field. Um, I think now it's called San Diego International Airport. I don't know if Lindbergh Field was offensive or something, but <laughs> <laughs> he uh, was a very famous aviator, very good guy at flying planes, kind of early, early ode to flying. It might be a touch forward, but... Uh... So fun fact, we're shooting a turkey, wild turkey on this. Uh, Benjamin Franklin actually wanted the turkey to be this the national bird, which is pretty cool. Um, another fun fact, turkeys were almost extinct. Wild turkeys were almost extinct, but then when the National Wild Turkey Federation started and hunters started contributing dollars to the outdoors, now they're flourishing at like all-time high numbers. So shout out to Ben Franklin, shout out to the, the Turkey Federation, and uh, see if I can get a 10 ring here. Here we go. Oh, oh, I think that's right in the boiler room, baby. Gobble, gobble. Turkey targets <laughs> suck ass. It's just a fact, you know? You can never see the 10 ring. They're friggin' tiny. Like, there's no shoulder to follow a crease on. What do people think I am? Fred Bear, you know? Right here we have Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. Did you know that he was canceled? Uh, I did hear that. He was offensive, though. He talk was. Toxic patriarchal rape yeah. culture. Yeah. Kind of true. Oh, I flinched. I flinched 100%. Right at the end. I don't know if you guys can see the target up there. Maybe Spence can zoom in, but it's a, it's a ram, bedded ram. Uh, I didn't even range it, but I'm going to guess. I guess it's 45-ish. Actually, it's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, good guess. 45. I will say, I personally, if I drew a sheep tag and it was last day, I'd still pass this ram personally. Uh, I would pass it. What are the odds of you drawing a sheep in Arizona? Oh well, 
Well, they were a lot better. <laughs> they were a lot better. It's pretty good. I think a little high, a little, little right, but pretty good. Solid eight. That should be, should be good. Should be good. Yes! Oh! You know, the cool thing about bear cubs is they taste better than big old nasty boars. I don't actually think that's true. Uh, yeah, I know. I just made that up. I mean, you know, one thing I want to say too, you know, some people are going to, you know, comment, troll comments on this video. And, you know, if you want to pull up on me, I'm not hard to find. I'm in the club all the time, so come and pop off. Oh! The Rage Hypodermic did work right there, right in the pump station. Woo! What do you call that, baby? I, if that's not a 10, then I'm redrawing the 10. I got a 10, but you know what really chaps my ass is that was in the 12, but for some reason in San Diego County, we just don't do 12 rings. We do X's. Ooh, I got a 10X. Why don't we just call them a 12? It really chaps my ass. You know, I'm a, I'm a dad. I've got diaper cream if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trav, for the nice, like, quartering two shot. Put it right there. Oh, little forward, little down. Since that's quartering too, I mean, that's about where I'd want to hit them. That's actually, yeah, that's 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 right where you want to put it. These rings really just torque me off sometimes. <laughs> they really do. I know. America, baby. America. Fourth of July. see we're standing in a bunch of wood trees old growth eucalyptus if you will which reminds me of one of my one of the all-time american legends george washington with his wood teeth just an absolute icon i've been to his house on mount vernon in, in an ode to him i'm going to shoot a 10 right here get in the hole get in the hole baby I Another fun U.S. history fact. There's an act called, I believe, the Robert and Pittman Act, which hunters actually self-imposed attacks on themselves, hunters and fishermen. And uh, all that money for outdoor and hunting gear goes directly to wildlife preservation, you know? And I love that shit, personally. So there's another one what for- What was this, 30, by the way? There's 30, second pin lifestyle. Second pin. There's another one that's for fishing and that's called the Dingle Johnson, which- Oh no! Dingle Johnson got your tongue? Oh, I think that my chains, these are real chains. I think they're so heavy that like, when I shot it kind of pulled me down. Cause this is like, you know, 24 karat. This is a Cuban link with the diamonds too. So it's heavy, but. I'm, that, like, I'm like Mr. T when I roll up to the shoots. Was that your drip that you used to wore back in your uh, pro mountain bike days? Yeah, I'd ride with chains on <laughs> So Chief Geronimo, who was a leader of a renegade band of the Chiricahua Apache out of uh, Arizona, he, um, he actually did the classic old man move and retired in Florida. Signed a treaty and for some reason the U.S. government, even though he was an absolute like, like I don't want to say savage, but in like the way that's like, I'm a savage. It's not that it's not a ratchet, you know, like he was a savage in like that sense, not in the like racial slur type of form. He was a, he was badass, but then like retired in Florida. There you go. Got us. I mean, you could say he made it. Oh he dude, if it. you retire in Florida, you make it. Except for, except for his dying words where I shouldn't have signed that damn treaty. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> what a badass. Oh geez, Martha. If I wanted to kill a wolf. 
I just want to say that like most days I wake up and I'm just really tired and worn out. So I usually just lay in bed and watch TikTok all day. <laughs> like even if it's hunting season, I just like, I Cam just mostly just watch. Keep TikTok. hammering, baby. Campaign's lifestyle. Yeah, I just watch TikTok to be honest. Private land hunter. Private only, baby. But honestly, hunting private is more badass than hunting public. It just is. Okay. <laughs> I'm, really? I'm writing an article about this for Field and Stream. <laughs> it's a true, true fact. It's a true fact. Oh. Make sure that deltoid is warm. Park that big Mac truck. Oh! Did you break my arrow? No, I hit way high, dude. You know, that's the opposite of what... Uh, I held 30 high, because you said it was 33, and I hit like above my pin. And there's no way it's me. It was had to be my bow for sure. It yeah. wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> You should start. You should start moving your pins, James. I'm gonna move them. Um, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be like a skateboarder that just every time they don't land a trick, they just like jump on their board. Oh, I'm man. gonna start jumping on my bow. It's really like uh, our outfits scream. We're not here to have fun. We're here to win. I I'm serious. I'm serious. There's one serious thing I say this whole video. I hate archery. I hate it. I don't like anyone in the community. Everyone sucks. Um, not a fan. It's really boring. I'm angry, and uh, yeah, if you see me, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. I'm pissed. I love the fact that we have a nice, good concrete footing like you'd normally have if you're hunting private land. Isn't, that's how that's how they do it, right? Basically, every tree stand. I thought on private, they, the deer just jumped in the back of the truck. It's kind of, kind of what they do. Yeah. Ooh, that looked buttery. <laughs> You know, as the guy with the biggest hunting platform in San Diego County, it really is my duty to, you know, be a positive ambassador to the sport. Where'd you get that drip? H&M? That's why I hunt private, <laughs> baby. <laughs> private only, baby. Where's our deer out right here? See that follow through? Aren't you supposed to tilt your bow down a little bit? There you go. See that follow through? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dude, I got seven tens. That's like, it's normally how many tens I get an entire shoot, and that's just on the first 14. Dude, here, here, hold this. We'll just keep it rolling. Let, let me count. Let me count. Let me count. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what, James? Holy You're having too much fun. Tens. You're not angry enough. You need to sh Yeah, there you go. Okay, We're okay. I'm, my blood's boiling now, baby. One target at a time. You just get more and more nervous. There's another cone. Ooh, little shiver. All right, we're going to unmark this, boys. Second pin lifestyle. See. Right in the pump station. Once again, I would pass this. I don't think it surprises anyone at this point, but I would pass. Headgear is just not quite what you're looking for. Not quite what I'm looking for. Long bombs away. Ooh, that should be a good eight. Ooh. That paint you? Am I just to the left? Just left. Good hunting shot. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm not here for a score. The Fennec Fox. Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> 55 yard pronghorn. If you look, we have a lot of like almost straw, straw like grass on the ground. It'd be nice if I was like Rumple Stillskin and could just spin this all into gold. Maybe we can spin those YouTube views into gold. Ooh. Touch low, but perfect for hunting. Oh. 
Oh, you hit a branch. I did. Oh, low again. That probably just made him mad. Low again, dude. Shoot. Sure. Yes. Yas queen. <laughs> Yas queen. So as many as, as many of you know, I'm a dad. Uh, I'm gonna be a dad in my number two. But uh, I'm really good at jokes now. So do you know the difference between a crocodile and, and, and an alligator? One's gonna see you later, the other one will see you in a while. Turkey this morning, Travis. A lot of turkeys. And when uh, I have a bow disciple shoot, there will be no turkeys. How far was that? 38 is what I saw. We'll try that again. This doesn't count. The first one counts. No mulligans, but that was weird, dude. I might need to rearrange it. Wrong pin. It was the wrong gosh dang pin, baby. I was going to hold my 40 low. I held the 50 low, went over. So that's a gosh dang zero. I don't even remember the last shoot I had a zero. That might be a first ever. No, the first shoot I shot with you, I remember you zero. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, you I did. Never, you... I never zero. I never, I never miss. I <laughs> never miss. Womp. That's what happens when you're 10 yards off on pins. See, this was 38, so my plan was to hold the 40 right about here, gain a couple and be right there, which is exactly what happened the second shot. The problem is the first shot, I held the 50 right here, and we hit right there. Perfect left to right. What did they say about excuses? It's my first miss ever. This is a realistic shooting platform on a hunt, public land. I mean, you guys don't normally carry $3,000 worth of lumber with you into the woods? No, I do. A magic carp? I think that's magic carp. What's your favorite Pokemon? Um, I don't know. Charizard wasn't nearly as good as he looks, but uh, he's pretty sick though. I would say Charizard, or maybe uh, I really liked uh, Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados is sick. Pretty badass. That's where I was aiming for a nice, like, big eight. You know what we call that? Uh, aiming for a safe shot. It's a rookie move is what that is. Well, move. just don't get negative five. I never miss. Oh. We're cutting it close, boys. Liver Spencer shot. got the 12, it definitely counts too. Oh, count it. Oh. Better lucky than good, baby. Tens and cope long cut, baby. Oh, let's go. Tens and cope. You're up? I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go I mean, hit, I'm gonna go hit the stew after this. I got a record that I'm recording with Jay-Z, so <laughs> me and Hove are gonna lock in and. Who's your favorite president? Jay-Z. <laughs> no, my favorite president? Jimmy Carter? Strong. I'm a big Jimmy Carter guy. <laughs> I am. Um. It might be a 10, buddy. Close. We're both going to be close. Where Where is it, by the way? The target? It's over there. Oh, I'm like... Over by that hill. I'll go. Oh, she's so well camouflaged. <laughs> 